If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. So please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here with the May installment of the Anna Elizabeth Diamond Spells collaboration with Poet Spice. Every second Friday of the month for the year 2023, there are several of us who are participating in this collaboration in which we are using Anna Griffin, Elizabeth Crafts, Diamond Press, or Spellbinders products. I will have a link to the list of the ladies below, or a link, a link, <laughs> a list, I can talk today, Woo! a list and the links of the ladies who are participating below. So please join and watch everybody. Make sure you leave comments, leave thumbs up, and enjoy the inspiration that is provided for you for this month. Join us again next month, and if you want to play along, there's also a hashtag which I have placed below in the description box also. So, with this month, I decided I'd try and challenge myself a couple different ways. I am using one of the Spellbinders Die of the Month Club. This is the large Die of the Month Club. I have been in the Die of the Month Club since the inception, way back when, when Spellbinder started the clubs. It started off with um, just one Die of the Month, a small one, then they added a larger one. And so I've been getting both of those, and it's only been one time that I did not get them, and that was one time last year. They had a set that I was just like, ish. And I just couldn't do it. Even on the warehouse clearance, they just recently had that set for really cheap. I'm like, I still can't do it. It's still ugly to me. So other than that, I do have all of them. However, it's just the large and the small die of the month. And then I have along the way picked up like the APG, which they no longer have, um, and other club things. But Generally, I just do the large and the small die combination, but I never hardly use them. So I decided to challenge myself this time to actually use them. So I picked the one out from March of this year, which is a 3D one and has lots of piecing, which Spellbinders is good for. The other thing that I pushed myself doing is that I have a pile over here to my right of scrap paper, little pieces, bigger pieces, projects that I've done recently. And I always end up keeping the scraps over there in a pile. So I decided that I was going to use them. And then I made it a challenge as I show you the back of this. I made it a challenge <laughs> to use it as frugally, frugally as possible. So you see here, there are these little pieces, little, so I cut out the little pieces and these little bitty pieces of paper and I made a game to fit it in what I could fit it in. And like this one, the corners were here, but then I was able to fit the flowers over here so I still have a piece, this little piece, and a lot of people would throw this away. But considering that I have a lot of spellbinders that have a lot of piecing pieces like this in the florals, um, I, you know, am not throwing it away. Some I may break down, but I do have a way to store it. I just haven't started it yet. But anyway, this is the flowering tree and collapsible card base. And I have to say, you do need a little bit of patience and a little bit of time if you're going to do this one. But it turns out cute. So as you can see by some of the pieces that I um, showed you, I went with, let me move this because it's doing the glare thing. I went with a black and gold theme or black and yellow theme because I had 
some bigger pieces of black and yellow over there and then I had lots of smaller pieces so um this is what I came up with I made my tree black initially I was going to um make the tree brown and make the leaves green and then I started looking at all the yellow and black pieces that I had and I was like just make the tree black and make this a black and yellow thing and use different pieces of paper for the flowers and the leaves then I backed the back for stability and the ability to be able to write on and stamp my um my um stamp although I should have done that ahead of time but I could still do that but this is it it sits up like this and it is like a 3D box card. It folds flat. So you can put it in a um, A2 envelope. And then it folds out and you can stand it up. I really like it. Lots of layers. I made the happy birthday doubled. So it has stability and also the tree is doubled. And then I've just layered all the different pieces of the flowers. So that is my project for this time for the Anna Elizabeth Diamond Spells collaboration with Poet Spice. Please go check out all the other ladies and you have a great and a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.